Amazon Elastic File System or EFS. We will show you how to create an Amazon EFS uh, service. So EFS is used if you want to share uh, several files or file system uh, in one or more uh, instances. The instances can be EC2, can be Beanstalk, it can also be uh, ECS or Docker containers. So this is uh, another service from Amazon that you can use other than EBS, uh, the Elastic Block Service, because Elastic Block Service cannot be used to be shared using several instances read-write. But EFS, you can share it uh, read-write uh, using several instances, but the pricing is higher than EBS. So uh, from the management console, you can search the EFS. And then uh, they have one there that I will create a new uh, EFS file system. So make sure that you select the VPC uh, that will uh, access the EFS file system. And the subnets, uh, the defaults are the uh, subnets that you have already defined. And the uh, security groups. Uh, make sure that you uh, the instances that you have there uh, are part of the security group or you can create a new security group so let's see I will go to EC2 and you can create a new security group here. So by default, uh, the security group is at EC1. Okay, so this is the default. So because this is all, tra all traffic, so everyone in this default security group will be able to access the EFS. But if you need something else, then you can create a new security group to allow access uh, to uh, EFS. So I'll create a next step. I will create maybe test EFS one, and we can have a uh, lifecycle management. So it's a good idea, I think, to make some of the files that are not accessed frequently to EFS infrequent access. So this is much uh, cheaper for those files who are not frequently accessed. And then there are throughput modes. Uh, you can change or you can leave it uh, as the default. And if you want encryption uh, data at rest, you can do it too. So then review and then create the file system. So if you notice the difference between EFS and EBS is that actually you don't specify how big the file system is because EFS is elastic. If you store a lot of files, you will be charged a lot. And if you store only a few files or you access it uh, seldomly, then the charge will be uh, little. So uh, it can grow as big or as small as you want. Okay, thank you. I hope this tutorial to create an EFS file system in Amazon is useful. And next, I will show you how to mount EFS using EC2 instance and also from Pinstalk.